Hey guys, welcome to Performance Farms channel. I'm John Rodriguez, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about my AR10 308 build. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So this build has been in the makes, or in the works, or in my mind for the last two years. Um, I won a barrel at a match two years ago, and that's kind of what kicked this stuff off. So let's get some stuff out of the way. Um, full disclosures: I paid for every part on this rifle except for the muzzle brake and suppressor I won that at a match the barrel I won that at a match the optic and the mount I shoot for US optics they provide me with optics so uh, the trigger again I shoot for AR gold they provided me that and the hollow sun I shoot for hollow sun they provided me that the other thing than that uh, I paid for Oh, except the bipod. The bipod was given to me for a review uh, about two and a half years, almost three years ago, by Warren, and I love it. And it is my favorite bipod to date. All right, so that being said, let's get on with it. Let's do it how Grantham would do it from tip to butt. And let's talk about some of the components on here. All right, so of course, the muzzle brake, like I said, it's for an Ultra, uh, Thunder Beast Ultra 7. Uh, this gun will be suppressed during hunting and maybe some matches. Who knows yet? We'll see. The barrel it is a 20 inch T box, a company you may not have heard, but makes phenomenal barrels when it comes to barrel making. Hand lapped, match grade, just top of the line. Um, the person I know that builds a lot of the gas guns um, is going to be, of, go of course, Sergeant of Arms. You can look them up on Instagram. They build a lot of uh, semi platforms with their barrels and Eric's a great guy and he put this up at a match for a price table and I picked it up and it was great. Uh, can't complain about the barrel. Now, how does it shoot? I don't know yet guys. I literally just put some test rounds through it. Um, not shooting for groups, just trying to break in the barrel, trying to adjust the gas and stuff like that. But we, there will be a video on that on an update video. This is just to go over the parts and components that I've used to build. So the barrel of course, 308, 20 inch, T-Box, 1 in 10 twist, uh, the gas block uh, size or the diameter is going to be a, a 0.875. Um, now let's go into the gas block. The gas block itself, uh, I could have gone with something higher and I wanted to use, uh, I believe it's called a Cyrock or uh, whatever, uh, I wanted to use that gas block so I had experience with it and they're pretty decent, but they didn't have the size I needed and the model I wanted. So I decided to just go, hey, I'll go cheap and but it needs to be adjustable uh, because air tens are phenomenally known for being over gassed so i need it to be cheap and over uh and have some type of adjustability for now and if i don't like it i'll wait for that product to become in stock and i'll pick that up so i got this one from palmetto state armory it is their 0.875 adjustable standard low profile gas block and i also picked up a black nitrated or melanite i, don't know if I forget which one it is uh, gas tube the rifle length so that's that uh, under that you'll see there's an area 419 universal arca rail with the built-in barricade stop now granted guys if the I would I would really like this barricade stop to be as further back as possible but because of the design of the rail that's where it is and again it's functional um, and it's fine but yeah, so that's what that is, Area 419, of course, the Skyline Bipod with the upgrade of Area 419, which allows me the adjustability to put my bipod wherever I want and keeps me flexible on that end. It also gives me the ability uh, to use the plate, which you guys have seen the video on this already. So it allows me to use the plate and stuff like that, of course. And it also allows me to direct mount to a, to a ball head uh, via ARCA um, attachments. Now, the rail is from a company you may not have heard of is called Live Free Armory and they're out of Melbourne, Florida, just about two hours north of me. Um, they have, I've been looking at their stuff for the last couple of years and they've had some pretty decent, you know, inexpensive, good quality ARs and AR-10s. I wanted to pick up one of the AR-10s a couple of years ago, but unfortunately I just, the time wasn't right and I couldn't do it. So I decided to, you know what, I've been doing a lot of stuff, um, let's build it. Let's use their receiver set. So I hit them up. I did pay for this. I just wanted to make sure that their high qual, um, that their receiver set, um, 
you know, kind of get some more information on it and stuff like that. But I basically wanted to know what, because I got a blem set. I wanted to know what the blem set detailed. And she basically said they're pretty much flawless. There might be some slight tooling marks here or there. But guys, I'm looking through this receiver set. I don't see any tooling mark. Um, the only scratch on it was put on by me and my gunsmith, uh, Emmett, uh, <laughs> which he's pretty mad about. And uh, but I'm okay, guys. It's a it's it's a tool. It's gonna get scratched up, dinged up. I don't have any guns that look prestige. Um, so yeah, so that's the the receiver set. The lower uh, is just a standard parts kit, nothing fancy. Standard components. I did get some anti uh, walk pins. Uh, from Amazon, 12 bucks. Uh, the reason I did is because I've, I've used them on another build and they work fine, they haven't broken. So I was like, eh, I don't want regular pins and I really don't want to have any, uh, I don't really want to pay 35 bucks or 40 bucks for anti-walk, so let's just do these and if they break, we'll switch them out later or whatever. Uh, the trigger's an AR Gold, uh, black version, limited edition, it was a gift to me. So guys, you can't get that, don't even ask them because you're not gonna get it. Um, the the grip it is a, a an Ergo vertical grip. Uh, which I stippled uh, it's a rubberized grip I didn't like the texture so I wanted it a little bit more aggressive for you know I'm in Florida I'm sweating already just standing out here and I wanted to have a little bit more control so I took a wood burning tool and uh, stippled it a little bit um, the bulk carry group and charging handle I got from Amazon um, not from Amazon from um, Optics Planet and it's from a company I've never I've seen their stuff on on social media they do a lot of stuff with other youtubers I've never had any experience with any other products so this would be the first I bought it because it was the cheapest and I didn't want to spend a lot of money uh, so the bow carry group is from a company called Tribe defense or t-r-y-b-e defense and so is the charging handle guys I, I'm not vouching for these parts I'm in the testing phase of these parts so let's see how they hold up and if they're worth it um, that being said the buffer tube is a standard uh, six position AR-10 uh, buffer tube. Uh, inside has a sh uh, shorty or a short 308 carbine buffer, which is a 2.5 length from Spikes Tactical. It still it still comes in at 5, 5.4, 5.8 ounces, something like that. Um, and then of course the stock is going to be a B Systems collapsible PRS stock. I'm going to do a video on this stock alone because it's got a a lot of unique features that I wanted to cover in depth and there's not a lot of videos of these stocks being around so uh, that's that I added a little all right guys so sorry about that the when I was editing I noticed that the video cut off right when we we're talking about the stock area so B systems we already know that part so the bottom part here this little bag rider uh, is from module driven technologies it's their M lock bag rider like 50 bucks um, and it gives me more real estate to use a bag all right, guys, so that's pretty much all of the components uh, of this build. Now, mind you, some of them are vetted. Some of, some, some of these parts are not vetted. I'm on the testing phase. I'll let you know. So look forward for a part two update video, maybe some groupings, load development, stuff like that. All right, guys, also, if you're the first person to comment, send it in the comments. I'm going to send you a send it decal. All right, I started making these send it decals. And if you're the first person to comment, you're going to get one. Uh, that means you've watched the video all the way to the end and uh, I appreciate your support and your viewership um, I'm gonna be doing stuff like that maybe when I get the send it mafia patches in I might do that as well with you know whoever's the first one to comment towards the end of the videos um, we'll see I'll put some type of word inside where if you get towards the end and you write that in the comments I will contact you if you're the first person and you'll get that alright guys so thank you for watching and um, I'll see you guys at the range